Now, what in the carnival is going on here? So originally, today's subject was not going to be regarding Carnival Cruise Line, but let's be fair. Carnival does happen to have some interesting subjects to talk about and situations that take place. So for all the fun people out there, the carnies, I do apologize, but we gotta talk on this matter. So today I have a clip for all of you that shows an unfortunate situation that took place with a Carnival passenger about a month ago in late February. However, I think it's important because it does involve, unfortunately, a passenger having some money stolen from their Carnival account, by way of which somebody stole their sale and sign card. Now that's the card that you get that's on your door whenever you arrive on any Carnival ship, and that is what you use to not only access your cabin, but also use for all your expenses while on board during your cruise. Very unfortunate situation, however, the lady that's speaking about this incident does also give some very, well, not so good advice. Just take a listen and we'll talk about it after. So my family just recently, we went on a cruise about a week and a half ago, well, two weeks ago, where we went on the Carnival Sunrise on February 20th to Grand Cayman and Ocho Rios, Jamaica. And from that cruise, we learned two major lessons, well, at least I learned two major lessons, one of which my entire family has walked on away from. So for anyone that hasn't cruised before, what happens is once you get on the cruise ship, no matter how early you are able to get on the cruise ship, you're not able to get to your room and get your keys until roughly 1.30 in the afternoon. So we got on the cruise ship roughly, I want to say around 11 or 12 o'clock. We got there pretty early because our check-in time was between 11 and 11.30. And so we had to wait around for a little bit and was finally able to go down to our rooms at 1.30. And when we got down to our rooms, my room keys were outside of my room as they're supposed to be because they end up being placed in an envelope right outside of your door. My aunt's room keys were missing. And this irritated my mom to no end because she was already irritated with her room. But in terms of my aunt's room, um, she immediately went back down to guest services to try and get it resolved and guest services printed out another set of keys so that my two aunts that were staying in that room would be able to have their room keys. Fast forward to the next day. I go down to guest services to get something corrected. My aunt comes down with me to check the balance on her room and there are over $200 in casino charges and drinks on her room key that she did not do. This kicks off a large investigation in which we're like, look, something's wrong. We were never in the casino. We did not buy these drinks. Can you please look into this issue? They sent us up to the casino manager to talk to him. And he's looking at cameras and he's like, he could tell us what machine the card was swiped at. That's how bad it was. Um, but we were asking him to look at the cameras, which he agreed to do. It took them from Tuesday afternoon until Thursday evening to finally close this investigation in which we had reminded them Tuesday because we had completely forgotten. We reminded them Tuesday that our keys were missing from that particular room and someone on that cruise ship had gone through and swiped keys from multiple rooms. So we had multiple people on the cruise having this issue. The lesson I learned from that is do not add money to your card or do not attach a credit card to your card until you get to your cruise and you have your keys in hand. I like to simplify things. So the first thing I had done before we even went on the cruise was attached my card to it. My aunt had hit cash on her card as soon as she got the reprints and that's how they were able to charge money. They could not charge money to my sister's key because she only had a $25 credit on it. So I highly recommend if you're going on a cruise ship do not attach your card to it or do not put any cash on your card until you have reached your room and you have your keys in hand. So as you can see, this situation in general is terrible. Nobody wants this to happen to them. But this does bring up some questions before we get into the bad advice that was given here. We all know, well, if you've sailed on a carnival ship, whenever your room is ready, your cabin, you do have your sail and sign card wrapped up in an envelope outside of the door, ready for you to simply pick up. And as you can see, and this is something that I I thought about and wondered if this ever happened somebody stole not only this woman's aunts but come to find out after the investigation a couple sale and sign cards and was using it while it's on board my question to this is how did this still happen how are they able to rack up these charges because one there are anywhere between 2,000 to 3,000 cameras on board meaning you can see every situation that took place and well as she explained in the video they can check out where cards are swiped for safety reasons every cruise line does do this see how many drinks 
drinks you were buying and what have you should there be an incident took place that goes in an unfortunate manner and well they got to figure out exactly the source of the problem now just looking at this it would be soon and quickly discovered that well we know who took the card we know who was using the card but they also have other safeguards in place not only on carnival ships but on other ships as well whenever you swipe your card to purchase a drink margarita whatever it is that you want to indulge in your face should show up on the computer as well whenever the employee swipes the card to show and verify that you actually own that ID and you're using it for example I've been on ships where I've tried to use my girlfriend's card to get both of us a drink and even though we were staying in the same room they still wouldn't allow me to use her sale and sign card same with other cruise lines now of course let's be fair here there are very simple and practical and obvious ways that all of this as a whole could be avoided with the help of carnival cruise line because many would argue the fact that they do leave the room key outside of the door for everyone for virtually and in, in, in theory anybody just kind of snatch up is a little bit archaic considering what the other cruise lines do but i do want to talk about the advice given by the woman in the video while i know she does mean well she is stating that you should not load up your account prior to getting your sale and sign card meaning putting money on the account or prepaying for anything of that nature the reality is no matter if you have money on there or not this is simple to figure out they could still rack up charges in theory if the provision aren't in place which carnival does they should i want to find out what how that even happened where they didn't look at the face and recognize that that person that was using the sale and sign car wasn't the actual owner of the cabin and the sale and sign card but nevertheless the fact is that it did happen and even if somebody didn't put money onto the account already preloaded well you can still rack up charges in which it would be taken out either the day prior or after the cruise is concluded she's saying to not preload your account not put money on your account or not add a credit card which you can do prior to the cruise like i said i don't think personally that would make a difference i also think that would cause a headache and a lot of inconvenience when you go on a cruise you want to for a lot of people just be kind of hassle and carefree you want to know that everything for the most part taken care of to the best of your ability whether it be the drinks or whether it be the onboard charges it doesn't really matter if you decide to wait to put something on file for your your charges and your incidental then what's going to happen is whenever you get your sale and sign card you're going to have to go down to guest services and this is something that i always advise people to avoid doing you go to sailor services sailor service something about virgin voyages if you go to customer service there's going to be a massive massive line of people that are having potentially bigger issues than you and you're now going to have to sit in that line for an hour two hours who knows then when you get up there now you got to wait for it to be resolved and well it's a giant mess for you to sit there after you've boarded the ship to load up your card it sounds good in theory however it's gonna cause you a lot of time a lot of headache and well it doesn't exactly solve the problem does it maybe I'm crazy but to me I think the solution is simple carnival should do what all of the other cruise lines are doing Virgin Royal Caribbean and CL whenever you check in over in the terminal prior to boarding the ship that is typically when you get your sign and sale card or your card that you be using on board your shipboard ID whatever it is that you want to call it that way there is no mistake that somebody could accidentally get your card and then use it while on board regardless of where provisions are in place like I said I, I do think it does fall on yes the security on board as well as them making sure they're checking at the bar or what have you she also said that it happened at the casino me to be honest with all of you I'm not super well versed at the casino I don't think it checks IDs I guess you can just swipe your sign and sale card your card you're using on board and just start playing away and maybe that's where most of that money went over to but either way thankfully there are cameras to go ahead and make sure all that is taken care of should there be an incident such as this like i said this is a very unfortunate situation whoever the culprit was obviously since they have the cameras they can't see exactly who it was where they swipe the cards that they should be charged they should potentially be arrested depending on the dollar amount because if they swipe let's say 200 dollars off of this woman's account who knows they said that he potentially or she whoever the culprit is they took multiple sign and sale cards so they could have racked up a thousand two thousand dollars who knows maybe they got caught after actually using one of those sign and sale cards and well case closed problem is solved either way very unfortunate situation but as usual i do want to hear from all of you fine folk what do you think should come of this situation seeing that this did happen should carnival go ahead and get with the times as it were and maybe just give people their cards prior to boarding the ship maybe they should give people their cards a lot of people have argued maybe after the mustard drill so they're not tempted to go and buy drinks 
links and all that stuff because let's be fair like i said people want to load up their accounts and have their card already on file so they can get to their margaritas and drinks as soon as possible there's no doubt about it but either way let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as usual know that i love and appreciate every single one of you hit that like button go check out my other channel jay the nomad as i have another installment of my trip to antarctica my expedition on my, that channel as well and i have another video coming out tomorrow and a review on this channel on sunday i appreciate you guys i'll see you later take it easy